season of mists and mellow fruitfulness. Close bosom friend of the maturing sun, conspiring with him how to load and bless. With fruit the vines that round the far sheaves run, to bend with apples the most cottage trees and fill all fruit with ripeness to the core to swell the gout and plumb the hazel shells with a sweet kernel to set budding more and still more later flowers for the bees until they think warm days will never cease or summer has overbrimmed their clammy cells who hath not seen thee off amid thy store sometimes Whoever seeks a brooch may find thee sitting careless on a grain reef floor. Thy hair soft lifted by the winnowing wind, or on a half reaped furrow sound asleep. Jousted with the fume. Of poppies, vile they hook. Spares the neck swath and all its twined flowers, and sometimes, like a gleaner, thou dost keep steady thy laden head across a brook, or by a side press. With patient look, thou watchest the last oozings, hours by hours. Where are the songs of spring? A, where are they? Think not of them. Thou hast thy music too. While beard clouds blossom, the soft dying day, and touch the stubble plains with the rosy hue. Then in a wailful choir, the small gnats mourn. Among the river, sallows borne aloft, all sinking as the light wind lifts or dies, and full ground lambs loud bleed from hilly barn. Hatch crickets sing. And now, with treble soft, the red breast whistles from a garden croft, and gathering swallows twitter in the skies.